The trailer behind us is the new Airstream eStream concept, and it's the future, isn't it? Absolutely. Tell me more about it. Yeah. <laughs> This is Ashley. Hey! So, yeah, this is the Airstream Eastream concept. We're in the Adventure Electrified exhibit hosted by Thor here. So we're debuting this. This is one of one. It's the only one that exists. And if you look to the outside, you have everything you know and love of an Eastream. It has that retro classic look. And on the inside, it has that Art Deco look still. So it's everything you know and love, but we've also made a lot of technological enhancements that are going to change the way that you live off the grid and change the way that you tow your vehicle. And the experience you've had thus far is about to change with everything you do off the grid. That's so exciting. <laughs> yeah. So we no longer have an air conditioner on the roof. We've moved that to the back bottom. So you still have the same HVAC and the power of it, but it's been moved. And we've replaced it with 900 watts of solar up there. Absolutely, I know. It's a lot. It's almost a full kilowatt up there. <laughs> and on the bottom, we have our electric drivetrain chassis. That is going to include a 80 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery. It's the same amount of power you'd find in a Model S Tesla on the road today. No kidding. Absolutely. And it's coupled with a power drivetrain system. So those things are really going to revolutionize A, you're living, so you're living off the grid a lot longer. That battery alone is going to give you a whole week's worth of boondocking, and that is running your water, your HVAC, your induction stove top. You're sacrificing no comfort with that battery. That's fantastic. Theoretically, the solar is kicking you back, and you're also extending the life of that. You have a digital dashboard that's going to show you how much you're using, how much you're conserving, how you can extend your time and off the grid. But if you're on the battery alone, fully charged, you get a whole week of comfort. A whole week? Yeah. So that really changes things. You're not at, you know, you can, don't have to be at a crowded campsite. You can really get out in the out in the world and, and explore. Really camp. Yeah, exactly. Really camp. That what we all want to do, you know. And then when we think about your driving experience and how that's going to change, that is that independent power drive train system. That is going to allow you to be self-propelling. That means when you have a car towing it in front of you, it's not dragging, it's following. This is actively following you. So this trailer drives itself. It does. It's wow. self-propelling. Oh my goodness. It can go zero to 60 in five seconds. Yeah. It's the power of a Tesla with an air, Airstream on top. <laughs> so. Oh my god. Yeah. That's, so that that's, that's the future. That's it pretty is. freaking cool. Yeah. And then if you look at the way the tongue is designed, it is fully reimagined. You don't have a weight distribution hitch anymore. You guys know that's a dirty, messy, heavy job. We've mm -hmm. eliminated that for the the customer now. And now there's a sensor box in the front and it has all these mechanisms where it's constantly interpreting what kind of force is coming off of the towing vehicle and sending messages to that drivetrain to be able to propel itself and react to whatever's going on. So that way it stays in motion and it's doing that following, but it's also engaging in anti-sway and it's engaging in its electric stabilization. No kidding. Yeah, so it's doing all the work for you and it's working with you. And your car is only gonna think that it's towing 200 pounds. That's the tongue weight. Wow. Yeah. That's not a lot, like at all. Yeah, you're getting the maximum range of your EV if you're towing with an EV. And then if you have a gas combustion engine, you're you're reducing your combustion consumption by like 25%. So that's, you know, that adds up with gas prices going up. I mean, it does. That's huge. It that's adds a up deal. a lot. Yeah. And then now that we know how it self propels, do you want to know how it self parks? It self parks too. It does. Seriously. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, when you me. get to that campsite, you're tired and now you have to do the dance where you have to back it up. Mm -hmm. Not anymore. This is every husband and wife's dream. Let me tell you, it's their favorite part. Okay, right? We're going to extend <laughs> some marriages. We're going to extend your time <laughs> off the grid. <laughs> so yeah, basically you can get to your campsite, unhitch, get out of the car, stretch and from your app or your phone you or your tablet. It's compatible with any Apple or Android. It's just an app that you toggle from. So you navigate it and it'll back itself up. And then also in the electric drivetrain, there's two motors, one above each tire, and they independently are able to pivot and for a whole 360 degree range of motion across any terrain. So it handles better than things on the market now. And yeah, you don't have to be wherever you can back up to. You can now pivot anywhere on that campsite and enjoy any type of view you want throughout the day or night and I mean wherever you want to wake up. You had me at it drives itself. And parks itself. And now it parks itself. Yeah. 
When can we get one of these? 2024, you're gonna see them on the market. 2024, mm -hmm. you're gonna wait two whole years. I know. Wow. <laughs> well, thank you so much, Ashley. It's been a pleasure meeting you. It's been a, a pleasure watching this thing in action. It's yeah. so awesome. Yeah. I appreciate all the information. Thanks, it's so nice to meet you guys. Nice and yeah, hopefully we'll all have these and we'll be off the grid together soon. <laughs> right? We'll be keeping an eye on it. That was amazing. It was fantastic. Oh, yeah.